Hi. In this uh, tutorial, I'd like to create a web page that has a printable background image. So I'm actually in print preview of a page right now, and I can see that I've got this kind of silhouette of a cyclist in there. And that's what I want to be able to create. Normally, a background image doesn't print in most people's browser settings, and you'd have to rely on them changing their browser settings in order to print a background image. So we're going to use a regular image instead of a background image and make that image behave like a background image close out a print preview and there's my page and this is all my HTML and CSS but I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stuff out so we're kinda of starting from scratch okay this is my page and I'm at a blank slate now in order to do this work I wanted to have a background image so let me kind of point this out to you. I went over to uh, allsilhouettes.com and I found a category of free silhouettes for common people and I'm actually using uh, one of the cyclist images right on here and this is kind of nice because it's all free stuff and in their terms of use you're allowed to use it for your own web designs, your flyers, um, t-shirt printouts and things like that you can use it for free for personal or commercial purposes so that's really cool uh, for graphic artists to do that kind of stuff for us so give them uh, check it out it's over at allsilhouettes.com and I'm also using some fake lorem ipsum text so I went over to uh, lipsum.com and I wanted to generate some fake text to put on my page so I just used their little tool to do that now back where I'm at um, if you were going to do this normally, you would probably really just rig up a background image, and it would probably look just fine, but of course that background image wouldn't print out. So my plan of action is to create an image on the page and then in one container div, and then put some text on top of that. So let me give myself some room to work here. And in the body of my page, I'm going to go ahead and rig up a div and I'm going to put in what I call container one and I'll go ahead and close that div down here at my closing body tag now within this div I'm going to include my image which I've already created give it an empty set of quotes for the alt attribute and then I'm also going to have a div for container two There we go. And in this container too, I'm going to have all of the content for my web page. I'll go ahead and have a headline. And then I'm going to have a series of paragraphs. And I'll just do a little copy and paste from the paragraphs that I made earlier. There we go. So now I have my three paragraphs on there. And let's go and check and see how this page is looking at the moment. So I'll go ahead and save, jump over to my browser refresh and here we go so I'm getting my silhouette graphic to show up and then of course my page content is gonna be below that let me make sure you can see that okay there we go so there's my silhouette graphic and then my page content and that's actually behaving perfectly normal image came first and then the div containing all of the content so let's go ahead and fix that up a bit here I really want this container 2 div to actually start on top of the graphic so we're gonna do a little bit of positioning so I'm gonna move up to my style sheets I currently don't have anything I'm gonna do some embedded styles and I'm gonna go ahead and set a few rules for myself one of the first rules that I'm gonna put in is going to be a reset rule so I'll use an asterisk as a selector and I'm going to set all margins and paddings to zero pixels and now I'm also going to create another rule for both the body and my container one and I'll go ahead and set their background color it's a light shade of yellow the font family the color of the text to a medium dark blue and I'm also going to put in position relative 
I'm going to absolutely position an element within a relatively positioned container. Okay, that's kind of a critical step there. So that's going to be my body and my container one. Those are common properties, common declarations for both of them. I'll go ahead and create another rule for just my container one. And that's going to, I'm going to give it a width of 900 pixels. And I'll go ahead and do a margin zero pixels auto. And this will center the div on the uh, center my container one on the web page. So let me just kind of give you a visual of this. I'll go ahead and put in a quick border, a little thin border on there. Jump back over to the browser, refresh, and now we can kind of see. Okay, so there's my container one in the red border, and it's centered horizontally on the page. Let me go and get that border out of there since we don't need that. Now I'm also going to set up a rule for my container 2. And this is a pretty critical one here. Uh, I'm going to do position absolute so I can indicate exactly where I want that container 2 to be. And I'm going to have it 0 pixels from the top and 0 pixels from the left. And that's really the key to getting this thing to work. So if I save this, go back to my browser and refresh, now I'm starting to get my text on top of that background image. Well, on top of that image, which is behaving like a background image. And then I'll just do a couple things to kind of make the page look a little bit more finished. I'll create a rule for my um, heading 1, which I have on there. And let's see, I'll go ahead and do a text to line center thin gray border on the H1 and for my paragraphs I'm going to give them some margin 15 pixels on the top 90 pixels on the right 0 pixels on the bottom 90 pixels on the left and I'll do a text indent of about, uh, I'll do two M's. There we go, so a couple little changes there. Okay, there's my page with its watermark or image, and if I were to go to into print preview, file, print preview, that background image would show up in print.